Good morning. I might turn this up a little bit here just so you can see my head. I'm going to step back. Let me know if you can hear me okay. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit so you can hear the music as well. So we're just going to do a quick little warm up just to get our bodies moving, get some of that blood flowing. And we're just going to swing our arms from side to side. Waking up our core, waking up our bodies, waking up our backs and our shoulders. Keep swinging. I'm going to adjust my one camera here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. We're going to take one arm and we're just going to rotate it back and do a nice big arm swing. I have decorations here, so I'm going to be careful not to pull them down today. And you can switch to the other arm. I've got a little uh, party going on this month. One for the kids for back to school, but then also just a little bit of fun going on in one of my uh, VIP groups. And we're going to switch back to the other arm and we're going to rotate forward. Back to the other side again, rotating forward, waking up both shoulders. We're gonna give our bodies a little warm up today. All right, we're gonna step shoulder width apart, raising our arms up to the side, and we're gonna do like a little windmill. So we're gonna reach down, touch our toes, back up. Reach down, touch your toes, back up. You should feel this. In the backs of your legs, down to your calves. Want to keep your body pretty straight. Nice deep breath. Some more here. One more. Then we're going to turn to the side. And we're going to do a bit of a lunge. Now, you guys go as deep as you can go. If your hips don't flex very well, don't go too deep. Keep it shallow. If you can get a nicer deep lunge there, get a nice deep stretch. Back to neutral and switch legs. Back up, switch legs again. We can do this a couple times. We're going to kind of wake up our bodies. Kind of get some of that coordination movement as well, too. Switch sides again. One more time. There we go. We're going to do some squats now. We're going to try to reach up when we do a squat. So we're going to sit back, reach forward. Sit back, reach forward. And again, if you can't do a deep squat, just go shallow. Just keep it shallow. If you can do a deeper squat, sit down there, back up. Really waking those legs up this morning. Couple more here. Now we're just going to do some marching in place. Ooh. How you guys feeling? Getting warmed up? Yeah? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good job. Perfect. Now we're gonna do some high knees. So whatever that looks like for you, whether it's just a nice high march, that's okay. If you're working at a higher level and you wanna pump that heart rate up a little bit more, you can add a bounce. But leave it up to your body, listen to your body, whatever level you're working at. If you're having hip problems, pelvic floor problems, keep it a little lower impact. We're just gonna do just for a couple more seconds, just as a little warm up. All 
There we go. Now, in between, I want you to guys to keep moving your body between the steps. So whether it's like a little shuffle like this, whether you're just marching in place, whatever kind of works best for your movement. So I'm gonna show you the first two movements. And then we're gonna do them. And these movements are 30 seconds on, within 20 seconds off. So actually, I'll go through all of them. They're pretty basic ones. I think you guys will, you guys will catch on pretty well, okay? So first movement, why you guys keep moving. So I'm just gonna demonstrate you guys keep moving. So I'm gonna do fire hydrants. We're gonna do 30 seconds of fire hydrants. The fire hydrants, just as they sound, down on our hands and knees, lifting the leg. We're gonna do three on each side and switch legs. Then we're back up for a little bit of light cardio. We're just marching in place. Then for our second set, we're gonna do some squats. Again, just some nice shallow squats. We're doing those for 30 seconds. And then for our cardio, we're doing jack outs. So you can do full jacks, or you can just do jack outs. Whatever kind of works best for you guys. Third set. Back down to the mat, we're doing glute bridge. So this is where you can bring a baby if you want. We're laying down, keeping our backs flat to the ground, pressing our hips up to the side, back down again. Hips up and down. Then we're back up to the cardio portion, and we're gonna do some fast feet. So fast feet is just like little shuffles. You can move if you want, side to side, getting that whole body jiggling. Then we're back over to do four lunges, Alternating legs. And then, our last cardio, butt kickers. So we're kicking our butts. All right. Are you guys ready? All right. I'm gonna set my timer here. 30 seconds of each movement, 20 seconds rest in between. When we're resting in between, I want you guys to keep moving those feet. You wanna get your heart rates up a little bit. All right, here we go. It's a 10 second lead in. Then we're down to the mat, we're doing some fire hydrants. Come on down to the mat with me. We're gonna do a fire hydrant. 30 seconds. So three, two, one. Switch sides. Do these nice and slow. Focus on your form. Focus on getting that extension. Nice and open on the leg. Keeping your back nice and flat. Great job, guys. Keep going. All right, back up. We have 20 seconds rest. But we're not really gonna rest because we're gonna keep our feet moving. Keep that water handy if you need a drink of these in-between ties. It's hard for me to talk and breathe and do this at the same time, so I drink a lot. All right, 30 seconds, we're marching in place now. So if you're at a higher level, I want to see you get those knees up. Do a nice march in place. If you're at a lower level, that's okay. Stay down with me and we're gonna do a nice march. Halfway. Then we're doing squats. Because we all love those squats, don't we? All right, 20 second rest, keep those feet moving. Whew. All right, guys, do it. We're gonna try to do this two times. So by the second time, you'll be first. All right, set yourself up, we're doing some squats. Just do some regular squats here, don't have to be anything fancy. 30 seconds knees. Make sure you're sitting back. You should always be able to lift your toes up. You're sitting back in those heels. Should be feeling a bit of a burn by now. Almost there, guys. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Keep those feet moving. Now we're back to the cardio portion. We're doing jack outs. 
So jack abs can be full jacks or just step abs, okay? Here we go. And jacks. 30 seconds of work. Really getting a good reach, a good stretch when you're stepping out. Halfway there. Woo! Then we're down to the back. Do something a little more restful. We're doing some glute bridges. All right, 20 second rest. March it out. Move those feet. You can do a boxer shuffle from side to side too. All right, down to the mat we go, glute bridge. 30 seconds. Keep those backs flat to the ground. Lifting those hips. Squeeze that top. Don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Do these at your own pace. Focusing on your form. Back up, guys. Time for that cardio blast. Now we're doing some fast feet. So fast feet, just quick little movements. All right. Here we go. 30 seconds, fast feet. Here we go. Go side to side if you have the room. Forward and back. Keep those feet moving fast. I always feel like a football player whenever I'm doing this. Woo! You're going to feel this so. up on your toes. Woo! Have a clear. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Back to those, those marches. Woo! Next up. We're doing some lunges. So again, we're just doing lunge, lunge. And you can do a step back lunge if you want. Sometimes that maneuver of the forward lunge is a little harder. All right, here we go, lunges. Whew. Try not to slip off your mat. You'll find you have more flexibility in one hip than the other. That's okay. Then we have one more set, then we're doing butt kickers. Then we're halfway done. All right, 20 second rest. Then we're into our last cardio, which is our butt kickers. How you guys doing? One more round. One more thing, here we go, cardio. Butt kickers, here we go. I always put my hands behind my butt because I want to get my heels up nice and tight. Try to kick in my hands. If you're not at the bounce, just do a nice kick. Five, four, three, two, one. 60 second break, guys. How you doing? Woo! You sweating? Little sweat? <laughs> Grab a drink. Woo! Woo! All right, 30 more seconds. We're going to do another round. Gary's all fired up. That a girl. Woohoo! Try to keep your body moving in between. Keeping our heart rate up a little bit. But we're not pushing it too hard today. We're gonna take it easy. Woo! Just gonna reset my timer. 
All right, here we go, 10 seconds. We're gonna go back down the mat. We're starting again with fire hydrants. Here we go. Three on each side. 30 seconds. You should be feeling these this second round. You feel them in the hips, keeping your back straight. I know you guys are getting tired, focusing on that form. Almost there. Back up. All right, good job, guys. Come back to that marching in place, the side shuffles. Then we've got marching in place. 30 seconds, here we go, march. Again, working at your own level, listening to your body. If you can do that higher march in place, getting those knees out, doing that high knees, you go for it. If you're at a lower level, take it nice and easy. All right, 20 second rest. Then we're into our squats again. You guys will definitely be feeling this round of squats. You might be cursing my name tomorrow, but it's a good, I like it. I take it, I got big shoulders. All right guys, here we go. Into squats, 30 seconds. Make sure we're getting back. Want to be able to see your toes when you're going back. Into those heels. Keeping that chest up. Halfway there. And rest, 20 seconds. Whew. How you guys doing? Woo. All right, next up, we've got the jacks. So whether you're full jacks, or if you're just a step out jacks with me, here we go. Love it, you guys. You guys are doing awesome. Great work. Woo. 10 more seconds. We're halfway through to that second round. And 20 second rest. Good job, guys. So we're down to the blue bridge. All right, drop down to the mat. Blue bridge. Get those hips up to the sky. Nice deep squeeze. Back down. Make sure you breathe. Don't be holding your breath. Great work, guys. All right, back up we go. Now we're doing some fast feet. I know, those dreaded fast feet. It's a good burn. Woo! All right, guys, 30 seconds. Fast feet, here we go. Come on, burn it on. Woo! Up on those toes, you want those feet fast. You should feel your body jiggling. Woo! <laughs> and rest. Woo! Good job, guys. All right, last round. Last round. Yes. Or lunges. Or step back lunges. For some reason, my body just does step backs better.
better than it does forwards. That's okay. Lunges are lunges. All right, here we go. Lunge. Again, don't go too deep if you can't. Keep them shallow. See if you can do a deeper lunge. That's okay. Go deep if you can. Listen to your body, listen to your hips. I know you guys are getting tired. One more cardio blast. All right, 20 seconds left. Woo! Woo, keep moving. The benefits of doing this outside, you should have a nice breeze to cool us off in between. All right, last one, guys, butt kickers. Whatever level you're at. If you want to add a little bit of difficulty, add some arms. You can do some little kickbacks with the arms. Almost there. Two, one. Next two seconds, guys. Way to go, guys. Woo! Now we're going to do a little bit of core. So keep your bodies moving, walk it out a little bit, grab a drink, 60 seconds to rest here. Woo. I'm going to turn my monitor down a bit because we're going to mostly do some mat work here. And you guys can see me a little bit better. Hello, Instagram world. Thanks for joining me. Woo. All right, guys. Come down to the mat. Join me down here. We're going to do a little bit of core work today. So we're going to do the wonderful and fabulous Turn off my timer. Russian twists. These are some of my favorites. I love Russian twists because I love the feel that you get from these babies on those old boots. So, with Russian twists, you can do them with your heels down. That's okay. During your twists. If you can work at a higher level, with those feet up, holding yourself in that tight position, and twisting. We are going to do 20 Russian twists, so 10 to each side. All right? You guys with me? All right. Heels down or feet up, whatever level that you feel comfortable at, even if you have to put your heels down halfway, that's okay. All right, working up here. All right, here we go. 20. Russian twists. Back, hands, halfway. And rest, whenever you get your 20. Woo, those are a good burn, aren't they? All right, we're gonna go lay down onto our mat. Knees up. We're gonna come up into a slightly raised position and we're gonna do a penguin. So from this position, we're just gonna to reach towards our toes on each side. We're gonna do 20 of those again, okay guys? Here we go. 20 penguins. Again, working those obliques. If you're not at that level and you can't do that crunch, Come down to the mat and just do a half crunch. A little easier on those obliques, you're not activating them as much. My dog likes to bother me when I'm working it. Woo! How are you guys feeling? Woo! 
And then we're taking a deep breath. And as we release it, dip down into cow. Blow that out. You can even swing your hips here a little bit. Loosen up that back. Nice deep breath in. Up into cat. Holding and breathing. One more deep breath. Blowing it out as you dip down into cow. And you can fall back, spreading your knees open a little bit so you can fall back into child's pose, stretching down between your legs, just letting that back and everything fall. If this is hard on your shoulders, keep your shoulders a little more neutral beside you or even down. Sometimes it bothers my shoulders to have them flex up like that. I'll we'll just hold it here for a second. Child's pose is my favorite. It feels so good to rest. When you're ready, you come back up. We're going to pick it up our toes and pop up into downward dog. We're going to stretch out those backs of those calves really well. Here in downward dog. We're going to take one foot and step behind, bending that support leg and pushing that other heel down to the ground. So we're really stretching out that lower, um, lower leg, your lower back. And come back to neutral, back to downward dog, and we're feet on the other side. So stretching that heel down, pushing it down to the floor, stretching out that calf. We work them hard on those fast feet. Kind of give them a little love. Come back to neutral again, slowly walking your hands back to that hinge position, and then slowly raising your body up. Ooh. We're going to end today with one big, I'm going to turn my computer screen back up again a little bit. There we go. One big reach up to the sky. Nice big stretch. Stretching out our whole bodies. Oh, it feels so good. Stretching out those abdomen. Woo! How are you guys feeling? Woo! I'm gonna run out of time here in a second. So, I'm gonna sign off. Carrie, I will share this with you so you can post it in the group to share with everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys jumping on with me this morning. I had a lot of fun getting sweaty with you guys. And have a great Tuesday.